"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, "'not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse. "'When all of a sudden there arose such a clatter, "'everyone sprang up to their feet to see what was the matter. "'When all of a sudden they saw some weird guy in a shirt and tie "'in their kitchen with a frozen pizza, and he went, "'Hello, everyone! This is Running on Empty!' Food review. You, you don't even want to know how long it took me to try to even come up with that. But I figure it's a festive, it's a festive opening, right? A festive opener. Either way, the day before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, cr Christmas Eve. Uh, want to do a frozen pizza review? <laughs> Why not? This one goes out to everyone who uh, isn't really doing anything for Christmas. And, uh, I don't know, maybe wants to hit the grocery store and uh, yeah, stock up on some, maybe some DiGiorno stuffed crust pizzas or maybe not maybe maybe they're gonna be your worst nightmare for christmas but either way we're gonna check it out we're gonna see what it tastes like and uh why not having a little bit of fun this christmas with uh a christmas blowout that's another good one christmas blowout the 2019 edition but either way really do want to do a uh, frozen pizza review today uh you know when i did a frozen pizza video a couple back I was surprised at the response. A lot of people liked it. They said they want to see some more of it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. I'll be happy to. So uh, today we're trying out the stuffed crust pizza from DiGiorno. Right there, you can kind of see. There it is. And uh, there I am with the box. Let's just do this right now. It's right there. That's good enough. But you can see it's a very, uh, well, they make it clear that it's stuffed. Right there, it is a stuffed crust pizza. Uh, pointing out the cheese, the real, the real cheese, like that's, you know, otherwise you might be seeing that, you might be like, what is that seeping out of there? But that's supposed to be the cheese. A uh, pepperoni pizza, otherwise, yeah, it's supposed to be a stuffed crust pizza. And uh, they're trying to say, hey, this is the best one that you're going to get. Uh, it's the closest it's going to be to uh, restaurant tier pizza. And remember, folks, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <clears throat> the kind of, the, the stuff that was in my throat actually... Kind of went well with that for dramatic effect. But either way, you can get this at a grocery store for around uh, 8 to $10. It all depends on price, uh, where you can where you can uh, get it. But either way, we're just going to try it out. We're going to assemble it. We're going to uh, bake it. No, we'll try it out. We'll see. We'll see what it tastes like. Because in the past, right, I've had some bad experiences with DiGiorno. Uh, you know, they were, they were, there was a time where they were my favorite. And then they got bad. Then they got better for like a couple months in 2014. Then they got bad again, and now I don't really get them. But I said, well, hey, the, uh, the stuffed crust one looks pretty good. I'm going to try it out. We'll see what it tastes like. So uh, before we go over to the kitchen and uh, assemble this and then uh, give it a shot, one thing I do want to mention uh, is that for Christmas Day tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a special radio show. Uh, it's only going to be available live as it's going out. And it's just going to be really fun. I did this last year, and by popular demand, it's back. It's going to be an hour-long show. And it's just going to feature some Christmas music, some other tunes, and a discussion as well. It's just going to be a fun holiday show, and I really recommend you listen in. Please give it a shot if you can. Uh, you can tune in on the shortwave, multiple frequencies, or on TuneIn if you don't have a radio. Uh, ways to, li uh, to listen and any info there is always available in the pinned comments or in the description. But I hope you could tune in again uh, tomorrow on Christmas Day. All right, so with that out of the way... Uh, let's go over and let's assemble this pizza, and then let's try it out. Christmas blowout. All right, and here we are trying out the stuffed cheese pizza, pointing out that it is uh, with cheese in the crust right there. So you, you know what that is for verification purposes. From DiGiorno, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. There's the back of the box. Two and a half feet of hot, melty cheese. Who wouldn't want cheese in their crust? Yeah, but but there we go. We're outlining that uh, some baking directions as well And there we go uh, unraveling it. You can see uh, still it looks uh, Looks in order, you know, you can see actually toppings go all the way to the edge of the pizza Which is interesting. You didn't see that with the freschetta. Uh The sauce, I mean is right there at the crust um, But otherwise there's nothing No, oh, there we go. We're putting it in we kind of rearranged it uh, and in it goes I'm being safe this time being careful Keeping it in for the maximum amount of time, though, for 20 minutes. Going with that high-speed commentary today. Oh, and it's out. There we go. It's looking, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's cooked. 
it's a cooked pizza. Now we gotta cut it. And uh, there it is, the glorious transaction right there. Uh, the transition, should say. Either way, here comes the pizza eating. All right, so without further ado, let's try out the stuffed crust pizza from DiGiorno. So here it is up close and personal right there. There it is out of the uh, out of the oven, the good view of it. Two slices of it. Don't really see the cheese uh, seeping out of the crust, but you know, it's definitely, you can see that the crust is a little puffier though. And I think you can maybe see a little bit of cheese kind of lurking around right there. But either way, fresh out of the oven, I think it's, 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 it's at that point now where your tongue isn't going to get, you know, burnt by the liquefied uh, product. So with that, let's grab this slice here, and uh, let's try it out, and we'll see how good it is. So it's the, yeah, the stuffed crust pizza from DiGiorno going in. I almost forgot to say... Christmas blowout. Made our way through the slice. Still haven't reached the uh, cheese yet, so now we'll just see where that kind of begins. All right, there we go. There we go, there's the cheesy crust. I'll take one more bite of it. Whoa. Here's how it is. When it comes down to the, the, the Giorno pizza, and you know, one thing you have to kind of avoid when it comes down to frozen pizzas, because it's a real easy trap to fall into is you immediately start comparing it to like, you know, a local pizzeria or a place that just makes it fresh, has, you know, fresh-er ingredients, and you can't do that. You have to say, all right, this is a frozen pizza. How is it overall? How does it taste? Is it edible? Am I projectile vomiting right now? Is there like some sort of delirium in it? And am I kind of like jumping rope with the cheese that's in the crust? You know, am I doing that? Uh, what's going on exactly? Or is it just a good slice of pizza? So comparing it just to how it is, right? Just as a product. My biggest problem that I've always had with DiGiorno isn't the cheese. Cheese is fine. The cheese that's on the pizza is okay. And the cheese that's in the crust is okay. It's not the most flavorful in the world. Like it's the richest cheese at all. It's like, you know, that standard mozzarella, it's like that cheese stick type of, uh, of cheese that you just see in the crust there, right? That's fine. Uh, it's a little, you know, oily, but it's something that you would expect from a frozen pizza. It's not a problem. The cheese is fine. Uh, pepperoni too. Pepperoni a little on that spicier end. Not a big issue. Here's my biggest problem. Uh, one of two things. Number one, I just don't like how the consistency of it, see how disproportionate that is? When you start eating here, it's like a, almost like a thin crust pizza. It's just really, really thin, it has this almost crunch to it. And by the time you work your way to the end of it, uh, it's like you're eating almost a, a deep dish pan pizza. So that difference in the consistency there as you're working your way up is interesting. I just like it kind of being one or the other, and uh, that's just one complaint. My biggest complaint, though, is with the sauce. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that I like about freschetta a little better than DiGiorno. I just think that the sauce that they do on this pizza, it's just, it's like it's runny, you know? I like how there's, with certain other pizzas, 
more of a volume, more of a, like a thickness, like more of a flavorful type of, of sauce. Uh, whereas with the DiGiorno, the biggest issue that I have with it is that it's more like runny, like it's a tomato paste. Not to say that it isn't flavorful, I'm just not a fan of the consistency, and it just seems a little more watery overall, which is a problem for me. Mm-hmm. Right, like that first bite that I take, I just taste that runniness of the sauce, and that's a big issue. But I mean, for a, for a frozen pizza, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And again, I think the biggest selling point here for this pizza is the fact that they're trying to say, we have a stuffed crust pizza. Do you? And maybe you do. I actually see some other places in the, uh, you know, in the, the supermarket that are actually selling the stuffed crust frozen pizza now, but... They're saying, yeah, well, we did it first. We've got the two feet of the real cheese, not the fake cheese, right? That's a big, that's a big issue going on right now. And uh, either way, I think for a stuffed crust pizza, it's okay. I have a few complaints here and there, and I have my issue with the quality of the sauce. But the cheese, everything that's in the crust, all of that is fine. Pepperoni's okay, but I just have my issues uh, with the sauce. But for a frozen pizza, it's okay. I uh, can't really complain. So out of 10... All things considered, I would say it's around average. Now, I have a couple issues, but it's nothing like life or death. It's nothing that's like, all right, this is a, this is a deal breaker. I'm not getting this ever again. Uh, it's not like that. So out of 10, I'd give it a five out of 10. Pretty average. Uh, where, you know, you have a complaint here and there, but it's not the end of the world. And that's what it comes down to. So with that, uh, that's all that I have for you. Yeah, doing a big Christmas blowout with the uh, the stuffed crust pizza from DiGiorno. Hope you enjoyed the review, though. I was trying it out. I was just curious because I saw it looked like they rebranded it. They were trying to do something new, trying to make it seem like it's revitalized or whatever. And, uh, yeah, just giving it a shot, seeing how it's changed over the years and uh, going from there. But either way, hope you have a wonderful uh, holiday season. Whatever it is that you're doing, hope it's a, a splendid one for you. And also on Christmas Day, if you do want to tune into my new radio broadcast for that one day only, again, make sure you check the links in the description, pinned comment, ways to listen. Uh, but I hope I could see you then. It's going to be a really fun show, and uh, it'll just be a pleasure to do. With that, that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and do take care uh, for this 2019 Christmas blowout. That's all that I have. Thank you. Take care.